Hello. Hadi. Where? Morikawa Otso. Sunny Bonai. Bella. Welcome to it, Jumbo Africa JA. I was just looking at my hands, you know, I we, we wish we had makeup and looked all pretty and stuff. But hey, we're keeping it real on Jumbo Africa. Iwe Unonzani, Welcome to Africans Manchani. Muri <laughs> boyena magenga. No, I, I like the, the the I wish we had makeup yeah. point. Look pretty. Why, why, why do you wish you but had makeup? Huh? Why do you wish you had makeup? It's just nice to have makeup. Okay, I'm listening. I don't believe he's about. Do you know it's going to sound a bit contradictory what people think of me? Um, even though I'm a cosmetologist, yeah, I'm actually not about the aesthetics. So you know, TK can go on about. I wish we wish I had makeup. I mean, yeah. look yeah. today, you can call a bad hair day, but Miss Tintin doesn't carry anything, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Speaking of which, uh, please subscribe to Jumbo Africa. We are online. We come and eat you every week, and we get there's something that you need. My man's DJ Munya up in the building. Miss Tintin up in the building. Saw a video this week of a guy Angajiro and their boys because mm. apparently he took a car from his friend and then went to get his wife and then went to a lodge and did their thing. This is the clip. Firstly, I'll say it, Kurovana, Kurovawangwe is just not the way to go in dealing in any situation. Before, mm -hmm. I just want to make that clear right now that beating each other up, whether it's woman, man against woman, woman against man, man, here as we saw here, man against man, but that's change. not the way to go. Now, I was completely, guys, I think I even text you, I was completely in shock. In my 41 years of my life, and certain down Bowana, sort of that mob reaction from men. Usually, we get all these clips from the women's, you know, girls get together and go beat up the chick. And then the guys mainly say, ah, but why don't they go and deal with no, 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 no. Why are those girls doing that? And yet here, men came, and men were doing the mob justice. I was like, yo! <laughs> I think feminism is getting to some of our men here in, 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 in this particular age and stuff. But what is the right correct, act of, uh, correct action to do? there how, how do you handle that have you seen the clip well yeah i've seen the clip first and foremost i need to say kutukuruwana who's bo but it really depends kutukuruwana what guy does say uh and then kumukuruwana who's right uh but violence no we're saying no to violence i need to say this to the men guys be very careful you know but not my my wingman not my face most of the time when people come to the crib it's not really Kuti, they're coming to see you, mm. you their friend. Don't be they, they're coming to see your wife. Really? Yeah. Uh, even if he hasn't dropped the official words or maybe they haven't exchanged that look. But my face saying you papa no way bye bye. So you'll be getting a lot of love from your friends. But Baruga was a good DJ Munya. I'm sorry, <laughs> what kind of friends do Is that you why have? You're not inviting us to your house. <laughs> okay, what kind of friends do you have? There's no love and loyalty, there's no honor nowadays, even amongst the thieves. Right? My nuggets. Yeah. Oh, but, anyway, uh, but look now, I bet you, I, if it's not there, with an, an assault charge, they would, you know what I mean? That guy can come out and say a lot of stuff. It's COVID and the economy. Yeah. Anyway, I think as Tintin is saying, that's just stupid, guys. Number one, you end the video. Two, it's gone viral. Number three, you're just putting everything out there. Now the police are going to look for you. So you need to know how to handle some of these things. This is Jumbo Africa, JA for Allah. Yeah. Log on and subscribe it and go my XD. We'll be right back. I know again, I'm going to watch. Hello. Hadi. Where? Morikawa Otto. Sunny Bonai. Bella. J.A. Jumbo Africa with T.K. DJ Munya, Miss Tin Tin. Hello. Do subscribe to us. We're at Ngoma XD on all platforms. Show some love and follow us. We want to find out who you are and where you're at. Hello. All right, cool. Uh, I was thinking of something, and I don't know if you actually did see this or have heard about it. 
I kind of forgot what I was going to say. Jerusalem? Oh, yes. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Jerusalem? Okay, it's getting old. It has become quite a big trend, the Jerusalem dance challenge, especially in Zimbabwe. Guys have picked it up. I think it's the old slide uh, dance move that's just been pimped. But, you know, I think maybe we should do it. But the funny thing is, I had a friend that had liked something on Twitter. It was a picture. Yeah. So he reposted it. And within minutes, he was being uh, ticked on that picture. Where did you get my picture from? So Who, who was, the, was the owner the of the owner picture? The owner of the picture. And get picture, you know. Right, yeah, and I got it off a platform and get it public, like a social, like a Facebook, whatever it is. I presume so, yes. So then why is he saying, could he, because I was like that with me. I would then say to the press, why are they using this picture in a, but they a social platform. It is open to everybody. It's available. Yeah, yeah that's, what I, that's what you're doing when you're putting your stuff out there on these social media platforms. Everybody has access to it. Right, you're basically saying, here's my photo album. There we go. But not with music. I think there's the question and the issue of copyrights. Munya, I'm sure you agree with me. <clears throat> The funny thing, though, is our Zimbabwean artists, sometimes you've only got two hits, two views, Zunguru Kutambira wa Unaka na Maria Orwita out of that music. But yet you want to shout at us for using your music video. Look at K Master KG. That Jerusalem yeah. has just gone viral and nobody asking about copyrights. 114 yeah. uh, million views, boss. 100 and how many? 114, when I last checked. Right. 114 right. So million views. 114 uh, million views being in uh, media, those are probably views that we bought if we trace it and as my viewers but, they, but they're still numbers right they're, they're, numbers. they're still numbers so that's yeah that, that'll bring us to another debate uh, numbers <laughs> uh, do, do we need those numbers uh, no but uh, let me correct that Monia. you see with, with, with youtube because they actually monetize the views and mm -hmm. the hits mm -hmm. so you can't buy views and hits unless you buy you give tintin a dollar and say guys go and log on in which in fact, you are still logging in and consuming data, which is the whole objective with by making money for the networks. So YouTube will pay you because you're consuming data and watching their stuff. And because the networks are selling data, everyone is making money. Down. That's why they eventually give you a certain amount of cents per hit. So when you hit million views, you're not trending, baby. You're making that money. He making that's that the money. Business. He making the cheddar. That, cheddar. That's and, the and business. The, yeah. uh, we, need nice. to, we, we need to manage a couple of artists. And we, get it we, right. Yeah, yeah. We All need right. to manage a couple of artists. Hey, maybe you should get us to do our own Jerusalem dance as Jumbo Africa, myself, Tintin. I don't know if DJ Monia has got moves, <laughs> but I think I promise you when we hit 5,000 subscribers good. within the next three weeks, we might just shoot it while it's still trending. How about that? Oh, we can just do it. Uh, yeah, I like that, but we might just decide to do something of our own. Thank After you. All, you know what? Thank Is it you. A, a quick one. Thank you so much for those for those nuggets yeah. to understand because a lot of people with that, remember with last time we had even Ja, uh, Ja praised that also is he buying it? and I, I didn't understand as well about yeah. how do you buy on YouTube you know what I mean how do so thank you for the clarity cool. but don't forget Jerusalem if Isus Dagwita yet is here Jerusalem chayo chayo you come to you come real watch a quite no budget kidding kidding I I need to say to all the artists we need to actually start making a lot more material that's original uh, because right now we're making noise about stuff that uh, we bought like swagger jacket basically that's what we did then we just pimped it up a little bit but if we had a little more originality as artists I think we'd have a lot more stuff to trend and talk about uh, my challenge and my trend uh, what's going on Jumbo Africa tell them DJ subscribe go my XD <laughs> Hello. Hello. Where are you? Monica Voto. Sunny Bonai. Bella. Jumbo Africa, what's going on? We're live in the building. I hope that you are staying safe, social distancing, wearing the mask as well. If you can't social distance yourself or wear a mask, please stay at home. Uh, I would like to say thank you to Tintin, Miss Tintin, and the big dog, TK the big dog. Boom! My consultants, Agaipa. Yeah. <laughs> if you've got a brand, if you're running with a brand or a business, uh, you are definitely making a wise investment if you actually rock with any of us because we'll give you the, the blueprint and how to actually get back to pole position and maintain. Uh, but, but. Anyway, uh, Big Ticks, I've been out of the game a little bit. I've yeah. been actually detoxing. Uh -huh. And I would like to know, uh, musically, hip-hop, um, who who would you rate right now? Like maybe the top five uh, hip hop artists that you think are rocking it. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm not going to rate right now. But what I can do is uh, actually having this discussion with my mentor. I'll say, eh, hey, there we go. So <laughs> we were talking about for me what makes because I don't want to do top ten, top five, three. 
top three tracks, hip hop tracks to ever come out of Zimbabwe that had message, that were on point, uh, that were poetic, uh, that are nice to vibe to, and that's got consciousness. And I was just thinking about that. And I can tell you, uh, I'm going to give you in random order, but when we are done with the show, at the end of the show, I'll let you know where, where we add with those songs. So stick around, that's coming up. Top three tracks, hard hip hop tracks come out of Zimbabwe uh, of all time. Right? Yeah, yeah. I know King Peter. Of all time. Yeah, yeah, of all flex, time. flex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, so. Zim Switch has come up with something exciting and this is really like something that we are used to think of it maybe as EcoCash on, oh. on Zim Switch platform. <laughs> Here we uh, go here again. Is, uh, take Zim to explain it in detail. Zim Switch is working on an upgrade to their Zipit service, which they will be calling Zipit Smart. But what makes this upgrade a welcome addition to Zipit? The upgrade is bringing merchant services to Zipit platforms, allowing anyone with a Zipit enabled account to receive payments. This essentially makes life easier for SMEs who could not afford to get a POS machine to be able to receive payments via Zipit in a similar manner they were doing using mobile money wallets. Another upgrade is that instead of merchants issuing out their bank account to customers, which is neither safe nor ideal, they will be getting shorter more manageable merchant codes. Oh, and they didn't forget customers too. It's going to make payments in places like supermarkets more convenient because you can pay for goods right there on your mobile without using your card, just like you can do with mobile money wallets. And since you'll be paying from your bank, you are not going to be subjected to that 5,000 Zim dollar daily limit that mobile money wallets are currently being subjected to. This is how ZimSwitch says it'll work. At the moment, there has been no talk of how the merchant network will look like. But since majority of the banks are already using Zipit, this upgrade is sure to hit the ground running. More details will arrive on Monday, the 7th of September, and you can tune in on the launch live on ZTN or on the ZimSwitch Facebook page. Do tell us what you think of these new updates to Zipit and what more you expect that is not quite there yet. Hala, yeah, you're on with uh, Jumbo Africa. My point, I have a question, you know, especially being a full-time mom and all. Already, we, with, with the money mobile platforms like with, with EcoCash and how RBZ came through and cut down on how much you're going to spend, this Zim switch, uh, uh, is it, I think it's an app or whatever it's going to be that mm. we're saying, it's just doing what EcoCash, Eco right? Is doing or was doing. Was so, it? in other words, we used to complain still do, for example, to say, oh, no, my going on a Stripe, no, 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 whatever, the partners are, whatever it is. Shout out Stripe. So <laughs> now... <laughs> we need sponsorship. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so now, are we saying, because I, I think, is Zim Switch not cabs, if I'm not correct? It's, it's an, yeah, I think it is. It's like a, firstly, with the way that Zim Switch is always not online, oh. I'm, I'm like, oh, my goodness, here we go. Oh, but, 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 but I think the real story, Tintin, eh, for me, uh, DJ Monga, is... Um, uh, a competition and multi-platforms, uh, diversity, divisions, meaning for a consumer, you can still use EcoCash, the one you've been using. You can also now use Zim Switch, which is offering the same platforms. But the real question becomes about accountability. Uh, I've often wondered, why can't RBZ or some regulatory authority run some of this platform and ensure? Uh, uh, but maybe is that their platform? You know, we're speaking here just as ordinary <coughs> laymen and we don't know the, but, you know, because I can then say, but maybe is, is that their platform? Is RBZ, are they, so that's, is that their mandate and stuff? I'm sure. No, and well, a correction. Central bank I suppose, yeah. I no, want to say exactly. You but see. they need to regulate to make sure that uh, we're not in this situation where we've got a very convenient platform for payment and transaction, and now we are being limited because there's people that actually abuse these platforms at the same time. Okay, point taken. I just want to also ask, say something, Kuti. You said, you know, the competition level. Do you know how many platforms there are like that to pay? Maybe just, they're just not advertised. Zipit, there's pay pay all paypal pay, not paper pay so this pay. then my my, my this my i can't want these this yeah, 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 my top, top three because yeah, i the guess they're three. doing it right so yeah. what, what i love about what you've just uh, said is the accountability element but i'm actually uh, tracing back the accountability to the source to the root the consumer uh, first of all, a teen of financial literacy, most of us, mm. uh, because mm. we believe mm. Kutikanatani Maria Gawanda, that's when we actually start budgeting and uh, every every cent, <laughs> mm. one cent is very important. Man, nuggets. And nuggets. people don't know how to monetize or uh, manage their small money, $5 and $105. So if you can't manage five bucks, how are you going to manage a lot of money on another platform? 
Nice. I love it. Actually, the Bible says, if you are he who is faithful in little shall be made faithful over much. Hey, Amen. this is Jay. Amen. We are Jumbo Africa. We are believers. We're kicking it live on Goma XD. Please do subscribe. When we come back, we're still talking, we're talking about those top three hip-hop tracks come out of Zimbabwe. Best top three hip-hop acts of all time. Hit according to TK. You know what it is. Yeah, according to me. <laughs> according to TK. Where? <laughs> Hala, you are locked on with us, Jumbo Africa, J.A., baby. Word. Please, listen, you, it doesn't make sense if you don't subscribe, so do subscribe across all platforms. Subscribe at Goma XD. You will find us. We need your commentaries. We need your feedback. For us to become better, we need you to join us. Go to teach and raise the level. It doesn't make sense. It makes dollars. That's what, that's what we're trying to do. Okay. So, big thing that was being talked about, I could hear across all terrorist radio stations and WhatsApp yeah. groups and everything, was Nyaya Kuti, the new education policy. One of uh, the things included there was uh, teenage pregnancies and uh, uh, girls going back to school when pregnant. Okay. Actually, to put it What like is it? This, okay. Uh, how, uh -huh. Is uh, the government of Zimbabwe has introduced or amended the Zimbabwe's Education Act. Uh, and they've come up with a new education policy. And in basic, basically, they're saying uh, that girls have been discriminated over the past because when a girl falls pregnant, she drops out of school, the guy carries on. So men or male gender are given more chance for development and more chances in life where the women get castigated by being put out of school. So they have put back the girls in school. If you get pregnant, yeah. you're What's up? there's Shout a readmission back in school. But the another one, which is quite interesting, oh, is hold on. So, corporal punishment. Wait, 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 wait. I've got a question. So with the, with, with the teenage pregnancy, uh, it would be she gets pregnant, she does the nine months out of school and then comes back. Is that what we're saying? Well, that's a good question because she could get pregnant and keep it a secret and only start to speak when it's showing. My wife actually gave birth when no one, no one knew that it was a baby. Well, yeah, it happens. They're like, oh, where did you get that? Yeah, <laughs> some people don't show. show. Yeah, yeah, some people don't so show. So I think then it's kind of vague there. You can actually just push it. I just want to say on that part, I think it's great. And I think even before it was a lot, I don't know why it would have been a policy that once you have a child, you don't come back to school. That's just ridiculous. I don't know why it would have been a policy like that. But well, I think... But what I want to say is, while we're saying that, it's important as well that we think ahead, I think, in our ministry and education. When you have a child, there's a whole change of everything, not just your body change, psychologically, the responsibilities. So it's all fair and fine to say, but please, we then need, in overseas, one of my guidance counselors, one of my to go and talk to within the school, because there's still the pressures that happen, the talking, the gossip, and all that. Munu is still, the girl child is still having to deal with so much. So I do hope that Happy Days is now the policy, yes. But let's also have a structure that can support that policy within the schools. Have someone where counselor, where a child can still go and sit, because it's not a joke. Right? Yeah, not a joke. I, I love I love everything that's going on here. Uh, you're talking about thinking ahead, which is what most people are not doing. Uh, so I've got two issues from this. Uh, number one, we've got a lot of absent fathers uh, or parenting, but you'll find or you'll trace all these pregnancies back to parenting. Uh, we need more present fathers. Uh, number two, mm. number two, uh, we are in 2020. If this woman is actually going back home and then coming back, we need uh, uh, an application, an app for the curriculum and I was suggesting that we get our celebrities to actually uh, break down those curriculums so and then biology yeah and then we can align some brands and everything and then you know to talk to make a value but think about it Think about it, I and then, of course, a lot more counselors at schools. Mm. Yeah. Uh, because mm. if bullying, if little kids mm. cannot actually understand Word. what bullying is, what more if you come with an extra, uh, with some baggage, bag lady. <laughs> but right. uh, and the corporal punishment, what was that? Uh, we're going to talk about corporal punishment when we come back, but uh, I'll trust Winky D anytime. And he's talking about Einstein, Tesla. You would? <laughs> sounds a bit red. You would yeah, trust Winky D. Marie? <laughs> this is J.A. Jumbo Africa. Subscribe to Ngoma XD. We'll be right back. Big up Force Commando and Conico Productions up in the building. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Where? What's going on? I'm a champion. I stay winning. Boom. I need to say that I've never touched my kids. 
Kana umboro one wow I got four of them Really very disciplined How about you did you get hit Uh no not really I did umboro I stay next to it Koro namdara namoro in my face Cuz Koro is a soft head master that is a soft head but yes I was due for punishment uh, <laughs> but my point is Uh, a lot of the things that we experience or encounter is a lack of uh, communication or effective communication can our father watch can say memorize a cartoon chai chai ya vaona nasi my grade one chai chai but I'm not going to go I am not going to reason but I'm dara my cartoon at how mug me say I'm going to mum chita ya murugu ija ya ya communication find the right way of punishing them yeah yeah communicate yeah. some of your parents and teachers need to just evolve you think beating up a child especially when you're angry it, it's a it, it's a correctional purpose so you know this is why we got to come back. for me though i go with the bible don't spare the rod you got to beat up somebody with the rod <laughs> make sure they behave themselves if you go cuz man i was growing up and my mom my whole street got am scans am mums asa to aweka wetu ngoro wana mums ba next door right sizo kudira ne we mwana wakatsande ndakuna uchida kunyadzisa mai wako mai wachi uya wako dire food in fact ka tshaka sham ya wana exactly she take it to a pitch tree yeah would you want pitch please show a picture of a pitch tree una tswara dzene mai don't you choose her and i learned to make very clever choices in life because when you come here pipe go to us hombe uno pondwa ukatora ka diki ndo uva cha select saka wait ora ri pakati so and there of once what do you say young man thank you ma'am yo sorry i have a four year old you all know this i don't try to spank that boy it's not working it is a completely different era that we're in and you're so right that we have to evolve in how we deal yambuko does yambuko goes to choose himself and says mommy here this is tickets for you now so draw and i you understand what yeah. i mean i had to reach out on my mommy diaries yeah. uh, uh, independent platform could mm-hmm. night guys how are you disciplining because Thanks, i also was raised with the rod uh, you know okay. uh, there but was you, no spoiling yambuko ha tshelo nda ndakutor ndi ndotor gwadziwa ndakato zvimba the other day ndaka ndakaro hapa siri bunda kamudai hombichana ndakakwara let me help teach uh, people right you know because i quoted the bible i said the bible say uh, don't spare the rod and spoil the child and when you discipline a child and it's is not kuda kumurova kumurwadzisa kuti anzokuradzwa nekuti so why why smack him then it's punishment and punishment is not inflicting pain okay so sometimes it's just the idea at my school and when my kids go to school we get them scans on up your warning later we them scans right. your detention okay was it them scans or no pure not to do next week wednesday you know that my parents are just like a headmaster right. or no roa okay not yo yo mungwe bata zwana nga chibudi mai we just that mindset causes some adjustment so you have to find some form of punishment uh, to, but you can't hit a child to try and hurt them to show what they are wrong it's, it's it's a form of punishment speaking of notes started with uh, going to the shops i know could want to tell you can't go with the little people because when you know kwese banonga zvinonga zvese start with the note mchiba but then we're writing an, uh, a little note what are we going to get in what the shop what are we shop? going for okay uh, if, if you go for anything that's not here i'm not going with you to the shop again tikanzi tikanzi wana na ibabo cheroka na masweets house ku chema anditika bo ande tawirirana ka bo let's go Right. Look a child is raised by a village. No, I don't care where I go, you know, everybody is it's it's that's my take on things and but panyaye corporate punishment in schools I totally concur. Let's that's because my emotions like you're trying to say could what this side gets technical. But your own child, my own child, honey, I'm going to smack you. <laughs> right, this is Jambo Africa. We are JA. We up in the building still coming up. My three top tracks, hip hop tracks from Zimbabwe that break history because they got consciousness, they are on time, yeah. they're poetic and you can bump to that. Big dog. Hello. Hello. Where? Where are you? Sunny Bonai. Bella. Ma Makadini muri dze Zimbabwe hedzino ina hudzi chiverengwa na Joseph Madimba. Do you remember that though? Do you remember that though? Oh, remember that though? Yeah, that made us that made me want to do TV and, and radio. Things yeah. like that. They inspired yeah. me. Yeah. Absolutely. 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 Yeah.
bring it here, DJ. Uh, earlier on, we spoke about new education policy that uh, pregnant girls are readmitted in school, which is a good thing. But come on, we want you guys to be more responsible and uh, also put your career first. Mm. Uh, second one, we spoke about corporal punishment that has been done away with at school. In my house, I'm a beat you up. Okay. <laughs> Although my okay. doesn't agree with that. But anyway. May I smack uh, you, boy? Quick poll, quick question, and you can make a comment right here after you subscribe to Goma Africa, Goma XD, Jumbo Africa. Who has the locus what? Locus standard. Locus standard to decide whether a child should be you know that I could locus standard. punishment. Oh, it just sounds complicated. But what does it mean? But it's you know who's got the choice? Who okay. has the decision? Okay. Who has who <laughs> makes the choice whether a child should be given corporal punishment in school or not? Should it be the government? Is it the parents? Is it the Is church? It Twitter. Is it church? Yeah. Somebody. Who should have that responsibility mm, to decide? Good one. That's a or good one for a poll. Themselves. Yeah, all the children, you know, the, because now kids are oh well, let it not come here. Kids are suing parents. Right, you speaking know, of parents, how's this. mommy diaries going, mommy? Ah, um, <laughs> it's been for me. It was a bit of a rough week. I haven't been feeling so well with the endometriosis and all, so it was a bit hectic with mommy diaries. But what is that? Um, no hesis, endro, no endometriosis. Dramas. Endometriosis is a condition I have. We, you know, we, we should cover that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Jeko, you know, yeah. Jeko, yeah. A lot of us. Yeah. We'll cover that next week. It's misunderstood as Jeko. Okay. Pachuana, but it's completely not. Jekyll okay. and Hyde. No man, Jeko. Islumo in the belly. Okay. Um, we talk about first trimester, second trimester, third trimester. You guys all know that you've What's got kids. What's trimester? Okay. Three uh, every three months. I need oh, pregnancy is nine months. You've got five kids. You don't know what a trimester is? But, but they were just the, proper terms. terms. The terms. Oh, like, ah, I'm not the trimester. Boom, were you a supportive? Boom, were you a supportive husband throughout? Were you going to the checkups and the clinics and all that throughout those so five? Us. So you don't know what a trimester is? Zero. Nah. Anyway. There's something called a fourth <laughs> trimester. And understand this, guys, especially gentlemen. Everybody assumes that once... I'm asking for a friend. <laughs> Everybody assumes that once was you've Maybe given birth... But you can all hear me loud and clear. Okay. Everybody assumes that once... Was Jara, the whole process of the pregnancy is done. That's not true. There's something called a fourth trimester, and that's something that the woman still goes through. A lot of it is psychological. So it's part of the pregnancy. It's still season. continued, especially the first three months, once, especially as a first time mom. Once you've been through the, the, the nine months, mm -hmm. the next three months, the child not sleeping. <laughs> so much stuff comes into your life. Oh. At that time, everybody feels that they have something to say, how best that you can do things. The, 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 the psychological effect, the physical effect that your body is trying to go back to what it was, because remember, it completely shifted and changed. That's all still a season, a three-month period season. That's still a woman who's just given birth. It's like continuing pregnancy. A lot of us, especially in our culture here, are not aware of this. And as a result, Pachurungutunoti pers um, postnatal depression. I went through, you, I was reaching out to you, I went through that with the first child with the Ambuko, I had so much support and everybody's coming to help. And I think because people thought Aninwana before she'll know what she's doing and no, 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 no. I was by myself a lot. And, went and through it again. I went through it again and my oh, body my reacted wife, differently so times. much, so much happened. No, Emma went through it five times. <clears throat> oh wow. Uh, Emma, imagine Emma, your wife went through fourth trimester five times because everybody comes and says, how about you say, Honey, am I? We need that as yeah, mothers. Thank you. We need, don't just, it's not just about the baby. Take time and check oh, in yeah, on Amai. They're here to see the mom, the baby. No, so no, 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 no. I'm a woman with children, so I know exactly what I'm saying. True. Uh, what she's saying, we need to all, always remember that uh, there's the victory. We mustn't always just celebrate the victory because after the victory, after the victory, there's uh, pretty crucial. Nicely put. Yeah, uh, I'll give you an example. <laughs> I'll give you just a couple of examples real it's quick. the most dangerous time. Uh, yeah, that's the most dangerous time. Number one, uh, Christmas. You celebrate Christmas, but there are actually 12 days of Christmas. It's like after Christmas, but my days. Number two, uh, and then after the orgasm, uh, that is the best time to actually okay. bond. Uh, more, just after my uh, Really? I'll be like, get that's out. That's the best time to ever, ever. Can I show coke someone? That's the best.
best time. Well, thank you for telling us that when it's the best time to cook some man. Yeah. After the orgasm. After. Cuz I'd like to get out. Kando, Kando, Thanks. Later. Kando, all right, guys, speaking about all this coxing and best times for this and children and what. There's actually a big spike in teenage pregnancies going on during the shutdown, during the what? lockdown, and I don't know how this is happening. We're going to be talking about that. Still to come, three top hip hop tracks of all time to come from Zimbabwe and I'm going to tell you why. Subscribe Jumbo African Goma XD up in the building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello. Where? Morikawa Otto. What's going on? I'm a champion. I stay winning. Uh, you're watching Jumbo Africa and Goma XD. Don't forget to subscribe. Word. I have got a lot of things on my mind and one of those things is uh, parenting because I've got four beautiful babies and one of them is 16 but uh, because we're friends with my daughter I will solve to know if I know how under my sas come but it's more of a fan of an image education you need dogs and a DJ Munya and a young in charge I used to stay in a boys and especially when you don't have a condom you're not protected you're supposed to be wearing a mask and a condom so we've got a spike in teenage pregnancies it's very important that we have present parents uh, if you're there as a mother just be there present and don't just uh, do the remote control type of thing and then you think money is going to take care of your baby no be present sat my question is we're in lockdown mnenga muri ana mai ana baba how are how are these kids getting pregnant how are they going out you know and then indulging Are they being sent to the shops? Bana baba na na mama in the yes, first so place we, we can't even locate them and they can't even locate each other. Yo. Saga, that's what <laughs> Yo. You know what it is though. I mean one of the things that's also come up with the whole uh lockdown and people being at home has been a spike in domestic violence. Absolutely. So Worldwide. No a lot of these youngsters mm-hmm. have been subjected to these domestic violence and to things that parents don't normally do because some parents have never really been with each other for mm. more than 3 4 hours. Now can True. you imagine people have to be together for three months in the same house and they don't know how to behave with each other. So there's a lot of domestic violence. Kids see this, they run away and they do this. So that could be some of it. But it's all the same. Yeah, But the question comfort. still lies. There's a spike. It's it's it was said, it's very clear it's out there. There's a spike in teenage pregnancies during this period in the past six months. How are the how are our kids getting pregnant when they're supposed to be in the house? Whose responsibility is it then? Yeah, yes, question. you said you've got a 16 year old. You've got a around the same age mm-hmm. and it was my point is how where are, we, are they going out where are they linking up? Are they are are say, and w- yes and how are you allowing your are child to be outside masks? the gate we know I'll, not I'll, tell you, i'll tell you what happens um even in the art of voice there's a strategy but uh people are so caught up right now you're so focused on the hustle on the grind that you actually they have a lot of things you don't do this you would mm, never mm, pick them up mm. it is so so obvious uh, don't forget uh, zimbabwe has been experiencing the covid epidemic the unintended repercussions for the past couple of years that's what's been happening to zimbabwe so the economy number one was on malfunction plus then the mm. actual covid has come in so everybody's caught up mentally saga jimwe you can't see it Yeah, we need help. And we're already like traumatized as, as, yeah, exactly. as, as a citizen. But hey guys, we've we'll got to right step back. up though. Well, within we'll within because you can only change within I believe I change in my own space first. I'm not worried about the True. world. Within my own, let me do something that works for me. As and parents, we I don't care if she's 16, 17 and he's 19 or whatever it is. You've got to take right now take that stand. In lockdown, kids should not be out there. There's no if you're not going to the shops, there's a time for you to go to the shops and come back. This is Ngoma Africa, JA Jumbo Africa. We'll be right back with those tracks and DJ's Munya you show. Ngoma it's D in the building. Hello. Hey, 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 hello. This is uh Jumbo Africa. Remember to subscribe. You get us across all platforms. Ngoma XD, okay? Ngoma XD. X big what? Big D. Big D. Oh, don't get that twisted. <laughs> um, you know One, one, the, one of the main mandates of, of uh, Jumbo Africa is that we look at, we, we're an urban culture, you know, it's, yeah. it's an urban movement. It's, it's us taking to Africa, from Africa to the world. Yeah. And one thing also I love, especially having you guys here, is the fact that you are so in touch with our local 
musical content. Yeah. I mean, the stuff I get into TK's yeah. car and I, yeah. I, I was listening yeah. to you before. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I'm like, is that local? And you're like, yeah. I'm yeah. like, is, who's that? you like, is this Zimbabwe? And I'm like, oh. <laughs> you know? No, the truth is there's a lot of local content that's coming out. And I think in the history of time, I'm so proud of our artists and the people that are doing production. The productions are on tight. Mm. The videos are excellent. The music is very entertaining. Speaking of which, I've still got those three hip hop And I'm dying yeah, to hear yeah, what yeah, these course, three. Yeah. The best for last. But before we do that, DJ Munya, yeah. your show radio, how How's Subliminal going? Uh, okay, so Sublime Sessions Sublime on... Sublime Sessions. Yeah, uh, Subliminal stuff going on. <laughs> In the Sublime. Uh, I yeah, like yeah, that, yeah, yeah. yo! It's the Sublime <laughs> Sessions, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday on ZFM Stereo, 9 to 12 o'clock in the evening. Uh, if you know me, I've gone back to the basics, uh, life, and that's okay, I'm one, everything, I'm just nice. learning, because I got my shortcut, I got one. So I was getting reacquainted, you know, music, getting to know music again. Uh, I've been on air for about three months, no internet, nothing. Yeah. Uh, so I'm getting into another season, new season, uh, catch us on Monday. Tuesday or Wednesday. ZFM. Yeah. Okay. Right. That's my vision. Okay, here we're going to shut it down. These are my top three hip-hop tracks from Zimbabwe of all time, according to TK. Right, Tim? Yeah, yeah, yeah. According to right. TK. The big dog. So, <laughs> I'm kind of confused between the two because I think the top-rated tracks, really, when you listen to them, has to be Junior Brown, Tongo Gara. That's right yeah, on yeah, yeah. The lyrical yeah, content. I remember right I was still on, on radio with you when that dropped, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that, that was... That, 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 besides that, the fact that, that I have... I'm still crushing on Junior Brown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, good. Reason. And then, of course, my man's Kingpin is up in there. I know a lot of people are going to shoot me down because they want the dead guy first. And But listen, it's what it is. It's yeah. my list. You make your own list, okay? Hey. Kingpin is there with I salute you and I salute you. And because I might have offended you a little bit, how about you choose the third one? We out. This is Jumbo. Oh! Go my XD. Capital <laughs> X, big D. We out. I'm a champion. I stay winning. I got you back. Hello. Where? Monica Otto. Bella.